Classic American car sales, 1967 Mustang Fastback just arrived. Nice, nice driver quality car. Uh, she's a 289, originally a C code, two barrel car, but now she has a four barrel. Um, Edelbrock intake, alloy valve covers, and alloy air cleaner. A few other goodies we'll talk about when we get to the engine bay. Panel gaps are really nice, doors open and close, lovely. It's got dual exhaust. Paint's a little tired. Um, actually shines up quite nice. The bonnet um, has some crazing and the rear quarter has some marks on it as well. There's no dings or dents um, that are anything to notice. The front corners of the doors have some bubbling and inside the boot, if you go way down in the rear quarters, the rear quarters are original. Um, they have been repaired nicely but you can see evidence of the repair inside. Um, there's no bubbles on the exterior of the car other than the front corners of the doors. Sorry about my finger there. Started up immediately off the boat, which is always nice. Automatic console drum brakes. We do have discs in stock that we can include in the deal if we come to an arrangement. Looks like a car that was probably restored 15 years ago. Um, the good part about older paint is you see anything that would have come out and nothing's come out. So it wasn't like it was a slopped together mess. Um, there's a little mark there. Uh, it's putty, I think. But otherwise, the inner wings are super nice. Front of the cowl's nice. It's got the data tag from a touch of New Jersey built cars. C code. It's a nice solid 67 you could use and enjoy. And if you felt like it, you can improve as you went along. Um, when I say improve, I would probably paint the car at some point. Highland green or black or whatever you like. So we've got the Alloy Cobra Val um, air cleaner. We've got the Endura Shine intake, Endura Shine Edelbrock water pump. Got some alloy pulleys. Looks like a new flex fan on there. Looks like a very new alternator remanufactured. I can't see a date. Remanufactured. Headers on the car, alloy valve covers, export brace. It looks like, you know, some money was spent on the car. It was taken care of. <clears throat> Pardon me. Car just arrived two days ago. Front end spoiler. We normally take these off, but I gotta say, I don't mind it. But it just unbolts if you want it off. Don't mind it on this car. Again, front drum brakes, we can swap to discs, that's no issue, we keep them in stock. The aforementioned bubbles, which is very common on these cars, but that's old. This paint's been on here for a while, so it's not like it's it's hidden a hidden mess. We can have that repaired if you want. Um, it's not a problem. As you can see, door gaps are real nice. Krager mags. We have good rich tires. Rims have some age to them. I haven't put a uh, thousand grit steel wool or triple zero steel wool on them, but they should come up really nice. They're not all corroded and nasty. Um, inside the fender lips is very, very nice. This is one of the paint defects. There. Door jams are nice. Real nice, actually. Door step has a chrome plate. Seat belts front and rear for all four passengers. Door jams are nice, as we said. Door ends are nice. Door panels look good. Everything looks good, it's good inside. It's got the uh, automatic um, console. It's got 68 seats in it, which are quite plush. They look good, most people would notice. 
rear seat looks good. Headliner looks good. So really, as we said, you could just enjoy the car. Just drive and enjoy the car. And at some point in the future, if you felt like painting it, you can go for it. We do have show quality, top-notch cars in stock, but you're looking at about 10 to 12,000 more pounds. And this car you wouldn't have to worry about if you took it to a show or the pub, let people look at it, let little kids sit in it, enjoy themselves. black camera case dashboard. Carpets are in nice shape. Seats are in excellent condition. Dash pad is nice. The chrome actually looks original to me. A lot of it, the door handles and the mirrors, which is kind of cool. It shows you that after 50 years, you know, it's still in pretty darn good shape and the original stuff works and oh, sorry that's my wipe down rig. Um, they, they work and operate really nice. You put on the new stuff and uh, just not as doesn't operate as nice but uh, that's just my opinion. Yours may differ. Um, there's a paint defect. It's probably in the lead line where the paint reacted. But that and the crazing on the other side is about the worst of it. bonnet is uh, it's got some crazing and real close you can see it but strangely it's not on the wings it's just on the bonnet so we'd be happy to sell the car just as it sits uh, we could MOT the car get it registered and plated for you we could do uh, really any work you wanted to the car disc brakes fix all the paint even get it completely repainted. It's up to you. Classic American Car Sales. Peter 07742 604906. Look forward to hearing from you.